Hello and welcome to the Weka Machine Learning Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the way how you can use Weka in order to combine multiple classifiers to classify training of test instances. In machine learning problem nowadays, this is very popular to use multiple classifiers instead of one single classifier. There are, however, advantages and disadvantages of using or combining multiple classifiers. As an advantage, we can say that instead of one classifier algorithm's power, we are currently using two classification algorithms power. So the model we will induce by combining those two, those two classifiers or multiple classifiers will be more reliable and will be more sophisticated to uh, identify or classify instances from the training set, the cross-fault validation set, or the test set. However, there are some disadvantages. One, overfitting problem. Many research papers have stated that if you combine multiple classifiers in order to classify instances from your data set, that time you are actually prone to get overfitting problem. Two, the classification algorithms have their own drawbacks. So when you're combining more than one classification algorithms in your task, at that time, you're at the risk to have the multiple classification algorithms problems in one go. But I'm just leaving you guys to get some research in depth reading on using or combining multiple classifiers in order to get or in order to induce a classification model. In this tutorial, I'm just simply showing that Weka is powerful enough to provide you the facility for combining more than one classification algorithms for inducing a single model. Now, I will tell you one thing. The combination of multiple, multiple classifiers for instance classification, this task is actually following three types. The first type is called ensembles. So what is ensembling? Ensembling means simply if you are using two algorithms, for example, bagging and boosting. Bagging and boosting are standalone classification algorithms, but they use the way they work of their methodologies. They use or combine multiple classification algorithms task into one. So whenever you are using ensembles, that means you are actually using either bagging or boosting. The second one is called voting. And the third one is called stacking. So I'm just leaving you guys to know exactly what voting and stacking perform when you are using on a particular data set for combining multiple classifiers. So now I'm going to show you how you can use multiple classifiers, how you can use ensembling approach voting approach and stacking approach. In order to do that, we will use the Weka Explorer. We're going to open a file and we are browsing to the Weka folder. On data folder and we are choosing Iris dataset. So this is our Iris dataset. So straight away, I'm jumping to classify tab here the first one first end symbols so in classifier option you can choose and then you can go to meta and here you have two options the first one is adaboost m1 this is a boosting algorithm and the second one is bagging this is bagging algorithm the average or normal or trivial bagging algorithm so if you use either of adaboost m1 or bagging 
at that time you are actually in you are following the approach called ensembling you are actually combining multiple classifiers because inside Arabust and bagging we have the methods of more than one classification algorithms so in in order to do that you can just click on bagging and you start classifications okay again you can choose add a boost and you start classification now we are interested on in voting and stacking so because voting and stacking in weka the the choose the selecting of voting or stacking is almost the same the parameters are also the same i'm just showing you one in this case which is voting so we go down to meta and we find nested dichotomies and here at the end we have vote and also you can see that we have the option stacking as well so we click on vote so now we go up and we click on this pen you can see in classifiers tab we have one weka.classifiers.classifier .classifier. this means that currently we are just having one default classifier but we are actually trying to combine multiple classifiers so we click on here and you can see that we have an option pane the default is set to 0R for this particular tutorial we are not interested in 0R so we are going to delete that from the option again we go to choose and for this task I'm going to select naive base so this is my first classifier to add to the pool the second classifier I'm going to combine with naive base is Bayesianate so I'm selecting that and we're, I'm clicking add so now at this point if you want to insert more classifiers into this pool you just click on choose button and choose the desired classification algorithms and click on add so if I close this window you can see that now we have two weka.classifiers dot classifier the combination rule I'm just leaving you guys with this option to play with because there are multiple combination rules several research papers talk about this and you should find the suitable combination rule for your task but we have some options like average of probabilities product of probabilities median etc so we are just keeping for the sake of this tutorial default one average of probabilities okay if you want to know more click on more button and if you want to know the capabilities then you can click on capabilities these options are always open for you to dig into so I'm clicking OK and if I click on start this means that I'm using the voting approach by using by combining two classification algorithms one is naive base the other one is base net on the on the basis of the combination rule average of probabilities so i click on start and the classification task is done